Uh, from the outset, can I thank Queenslanders for the great work that they have been doing. Due to the current community transmission levels, the border with Victoria will remain closed and will be strengthened. Tougher measures will apply from this Friday, July 3, at 12 noon. Anyone who has travelled from Victoria, including Queenslanders, will be prevented from entering or will have to quarantine at a hotel at their own expense for two weeks. From July the 10th, uh, people will be allowed to travel into Queensland after filling in a border declaration. This border declaration is to ensure that no one has travelled to Victoria in the past 14 days. If you falsify a document, you will face strict penalties and fines up to $4,000. We don't take these decisions lightly and the Chief Health Officer has provided government with very clear advice. My number one concern is to protect Queenslanders and Queensland families. These border wars have got to stop and I think a national leader should have been able to bring all of the states and territories together. Frankly, I'm a bit sick that Queensland has been singled out. I've been silent for a long time and I will not be silenced for standing up for what I believe to be right, for the health advice that I am being provided for um, by Dr Young and Dr Young and the advice that she has given us has put Queensland in a very good position. We will do everything to preserve Queensland's good record at preventing the spread of COVID-19 in our state. We are in a very good position at the moment but we know at any time anything could change.